Welcome to 221B Baker Street by way of the Southgate Bridge. I am Sherlock Holmes. Watson is still exploring things in India. But of course, with us today, again, is everyone's favorite, regularly regular, Karen Vera. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're going to get you cards that say that. <laughs> yes, favorite regular would be awesome on the card. <laughs> That'd be awesome, Sherlock, Sherlock's regular goes, my card, I want to Sherlock the regulars. <laughs> so, we're going to... So, this, this, Burden of Blood, right? Yes, yeah. yes. They, they've, been, they've been really... This season seems even more so with the name, the episode names yeah. to like tie in or whatever. I noticed that too. Uh, so, of course, Sherlock, and Sherlock apparently come in carrying a cactus... And and, uh, unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that's specifically a – is that a Russian cosmonaut outfit or just – Wow, you got Russian out of that laundry bag. You're amazing. Uh, I just thought it's some kind of regular space outfit. Oh, I'm guessing because I I, I wasn't sure if the – but I could be wrong. Don't – because – Yeah. By the shape of the – when you've seen as many movies as I have, you you start (laughs) to recognize. But I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. But – I thought because of the shape of the helmet and the color of the suit, but whatever. But but, yeah. well, it, and, but, but really, it makes sense because that's the kind of thing you can probably buy off like eBay or the black market or something. I could totally see yes. how buying a Russian space suit just to have one. If, apparently, there's blood stains in it. We never find out what the blood stains are from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he 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 has these things that like, oh, I have – you know, how many times has he said in episodes, I have something like that nature in my basement or in my, you know, cabinets or something. So, yes, I'm sure it's a, it might seem random to us, but I'm sure it's super useful to Sherlock. I, I, I wish we, we knew Sherlock's regular dry cleaner. <laughs> I, mean, he need, I would love to be the guy that oh, no, the guy that Sherlock finds that he brings his stuff regularly to. I'm sure it's a double purpose, the dry cleaner. He's like my Russian expert and my dry cleaner. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. <laughs> but, um, so the door's locked, which is unusual. And Detective Bell's there, and he comes downstairs putting on clothes. Putting on clothes? I mean, he's just fixing his suit or something. Oh yeah, you're probably, right? I just I, when I first watched it, that's what it looked like to me. Like he was putting. I'm like, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so you know, Sherlock. Of course, it's something's afoot because the door is locked. Here comes Bell. Jones in the shower, and you know, Sherlock goes into like father mode. Oh, he's just putting on his jacket. It's, it's, that's what it was. But yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, I, you, it's funny you say father because I made a note it, that it's like it's like because it, obviously in the beginning this would have been much more you know insensitive, but this it's it, I get the sense of a brother messing with his sister. Yeah. Oh well, yes, like a big brother. Like yeah. are you mess? Yeah. For like, sure. Oh, yes. oh, you're sleeping with my, yeah, like and. Like it, it's a lot. He and this just shows how talented Johnny is. Like he conveys a lot of things at once. Like one, he generally believes it'd be a bad idea for Marcus <laughs> and Watson to sleep together because they have to work together. Yes. But, but also, he's annoyed by the horrible lie. Like, oh, so you need to give him your tennis racket? And she's like, yeah, oh, yeah. And he just looks like really. She felt the look on his face. She says <laughs> she fell for that. And obviously, when he's making fun of her. Like he has this look on his face that just has me die and laugh, and and it's so <laughs> Big Brother. Yes, yes, yeah, and you know Watson's all, oh my, OMG, you know, brother, stay out of my business. Pretty much, and, yeah. Case closed. You know, he, he's just like even behind closed doors, he said she pulls off that the hilarity in that line, <laughs> that line. So they are called away to a homicide. There's a young well, there's a woman suffocated in a bag. In her car, it's no signs of robbery, so they need to find clues. But it turns out she, uh, she that she was attacked from behind, and that yeah, she left a voicemail message. Yes, that turns out to be a big oh, key yeah. to this entire episode. Yes, so of course Sherlock figures out the password of the phone, no problems. Right. And once they hear the message, you know, it's it's on to um how the mystery unfolds. Do you think the password was I am Sherlock? <laughs> that's so dumb i'm sorry that is so dumb oh, sorry. That's a, uh, i thought that, that part was awesome it, no it's so stupid it's so stupid but you know i had that's one of the issues of that sherlock show so uh. <laughs> okay well we're talking about we do talk about sherlock on that <laughs> but let's but stick elementary but yeah so now that you yeah, go from there to um sherlock's apparently been just listening to the voicemail all night yes. over and over again which is pl- pleasant but he realizes it, in doing so yes well you know it's funny because i just realized this now see of course sherlock has 
powers of observation more or less, but sometimes it really just takes – he listens to the same thing or reads the same thing over and over again. I think – Almost anyone, if they listen to something that much, would start noticing, you know. Yes, um, that's totally right. I mean, that's exactly why I love this interpretation of Sherlock in Elementary. It's because he shows us the discipline of how you get to being super observant, how to, you know, put dots together. He, we see how he's developed his genius. I mean, it, it that that's that's um, and the show bothers to tell us and set up, you know, showing us how diligent Sherlock is with his work, how he he has a passion for it to listen something over and over again, or just keep uh, seeing together like sheets of paper on the wall. Um, th- that's why I feel I feel his genius even more than though you know speaking of the BBC Sherlock where things just seem to happen by a wave of a wand and things are solved. I feel here you see how true genius actually sort of sort of evolves and develops and it's and fantastic and Johnny Lee Miller is just excellent at playing at playing that scene. So and because he's so patient and diligent and takes the time to to listen to this recording, we get a breakthrough uh, from his observation, right? Exactly, and it's so the, uh, to go back to the beginning scene. It's like obviously it, something, something. Uh, it's a classic mistake people make about. I, I won't get into the semantics of it, but it's yeah. that Sherlock Holmes. Obviously, he's right because the show want or the books want to be right, but yeah, um, he's not. He he's making deductions based on what he sees. But yes. he could be wrong, and 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 he kind of makes it does that as a, in a joking way. Um, in the beginning, like, oh, you and Marcus must be sleeping together because of this, this, and this. Yes. But uh, it reminds me. There's this great video, and I need to. I should probably post this on the. Well, it's it, people. Like, it's there's a comedian called John Holmes. He does this great comedy video making fun of this BBC Sherlock, and the whole scene was Watson's <laughs> phone, where he says, "Oh, this is a young man's gadget." The scratch marks, and Watson in the comedy sketch, he does the whole thing. And at the end, Watson goes, "Not one bit of that was right." <laughs> like he, and he says like he because and he uses other explanations. No, it, it's like this because and it's because technically that's true. Sure, I mean and it ha- it does happen. In the show Sherlock says, "Oh, I thought this meant this." It actually yes. means that, and yes. they do that very well in this show, in my opinion. Oh, I want to see that. Where do you find that? On I'll, YouTube? I'll, I'll post it. I'll, I'll I'll send it to you. I still need to yeah. send you that. I've been meaning to send you that chaotic neutral good thing I was telling you about when considering Holmes' father, who is again not ab- is absent from, not even mentioned in this episode, probably because it costs money to pay an actor like John Noble. <laughs> I think they're setting things up, but and we do get some t- uh, hints of a father's legacy upon their children. Ah, so I feel there's some I, kind of ooh, thread still ooh. happening. Ooh, I can. Pl- I didn't even think of that. That is good. That is ooh, ooh. See that. So, so yes. Yeah, so they go to the. Uh, oh, by the way, I love when Holmes says we don't have time for coffee, but takes hers. <laughs> I think you know. I think they're. In, I think the actors are enjoying the comedic beats of each episode. I think this is a a, a crew that likes working together. Yeah, indeed, and so they go to the laptop. See, it turns out a lot of things like she was um there was a specific chemical in her yes. lungs. And that she was um pr- very early stages, but she was uh pregnant, which is interesting because she had a tube side. I, and I think I've heard that that's that it's very rare, but it can happen that you can still yes. be pregnant after having that. Yep, yep. And this this is important uh, that this the it, the pregnancy happened despite some uh, some procedures not for her to have children. And again, this plays a part in how the case is resolved. So some 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 breadcrumbs are dropped for us uh, in in terms of uh, finding out what happened to how the murder happened and who did it. Oh, there's a, well, we get little pieces of possible. I mean, yes. there is no shortage of motives in this yes. episode. So, but and we get and we get, meet. Now, I I remember I've obviously up till I explained it. I'm like, what is this? Why did you? I mean, because. Like, what is this actor so he's secret, like just secretly gay? Is he just really, I'm like, he looks really young. And then they yes. explain that it's because he's supposed to look like, like they did, I'm not sure if they, they did the specific casting, obviously casting a younger actor than what his yes. age is supposed to be because he's supposed to have, I've, now I've heard of this disease that people just never hit puberty. Yeah, that's a terrible uh, um, syndrome to have to survive. But uh, yeah, so my impression was, is this her son? Is this some kid working on her on some errands and around the house? And it turns out he's the husband and it puts us off like, why does he look so young? And, and, um, and yeah, so it, it right, but right away, I guess, uh, the hint 
of the not smelling the thinner on the clothes and mm. um Sherlock noticing yeah that his his uh puberty has not visited this young man so yeah so th- this this uh rules out that the, she must be having an affair because she probably wouldn't have children um he, he can't have any children himself yes yes it's, so now he's he looks genuinely surprised about the pregnancy and he obviously reacts to it and, and you can't really blame him for that so yes. they decide to check his alibi, and Watson goes to the doctor, who it's real uh, does the classic, you know, she's defensive for no reason at all. So Watson like almost has a spell out for, we're trying to catch a murderer. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I know, I but I think she got to him. Uh, I don't know this. I've seen different observations when, yeah, uh, Watson tries to push that. Can you give us this information? And the doctor's defensive. And then she asks, this is a murder we're trying to catch. And so she leaves. And then there's a little pause between her leaving the room. I think she's giving Watson permission to look into her computer without knowingly. Oh, outright. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think there was a pause. I think I sense that. Or either, you know, Watson's a little bit more crafty than. Oh, you know, that, that I can super, go with. She's super crafty by this point after Sherlock's um, training for her. But I think, um, I don't know, I sense a pause and it's like, and she, there's an arm movement to say, okay, can, I thought she would leave a file open or something. But um, I think, I think the doctor relented in the end. And, and um, but again, that's a, that's a judgment call. I'm not sure if that, but I, I sense to have seen that. So from there, we go, we, we have, um, Marcus and, and Sherlock, which and I just <laughs> this is the funniest. Oh scene. God, them together in this episode was just so good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the um, the British accent. Oh the... God, Marcus doing the British accent. <laughs> oh yes, it's pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah, I said I don't want to be trained by you because you'll give me that pep talk. It's like what pep talk? <laughs> yeah, we get some references to some past stuff. I'm surprised when he said I'm a good teacher. He didn't also mention. Although really we haven't heard we haven't had any mention of her since she left is um Kitty. Kitty, yes. I really hope yes. she comes back because I liked her that actress a lot. Me too. I mean I'm sure this is gonna gonna tie in somewhere down the line. That's the benefit of what of you know, keeping some options open for, for things to drop in. Because we're we're still expecting Moriarty to come back hopefully and perhaps the that uh, con artists from last week can can play something down the line. We have all these the, wonderful or, or there's opportunities. Also, or there's also the um the math we we used to talk about previous well, some of my previous the mathematician from Soul yes. for X, the yes, balloon yes. man. These are yep. all. I keep th- hoping we get like a rogues gallery or something. <laughs> I know. I think this is gonna be you know if down the line when they need to wrap up the show, which at some point down the line they might have to you know it might all come to a head with uh. With uh, Agatha Christie style, all the previous nemesis of Sherlock, you know, stymieing him with a new something that he can't solve easily. So, so I, and yeah, I, but the but wait, before we go, the priceless line of this is, exchange is, "I'm a gifted, <laughs> I'm a gifted instructor." Once it is living proof, mm. and uh, the comedic energy that Johnny puts into that line he just chess, cracked me up he loud. Ch- he chest slapped Marcus. Holmes chest slapped somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yes. And now, so they cracked her email. It turns out she had a, a email just for like essentially her illicit or extra activities. That it, yes, it's, it seems like the person she was having an affair with was very confident that uh, like the husband didn't know. But another interesting thing, their next meeting was going to be at Sing Sing. Yep. So we end up with famous face number one in this episode, which mm. is Michael O'Keefe. From long ago, Caddyshack. I don't know if you're, you're old enough to remember the Caddyshack. Oh, I, I know Caddyshack, but that's <laughs> yeah. Are we talk, Wait, is, oh, that's not the first thing I think of when I think of that actor. Oh, what? What is? What is it? You mean, you mean what the, do you think he's known for? You mean Michael fa- O'Keefe? You mean the father? Yeah, right? the father. Yeah. I, actually, the funny thing is, I remember him because um, he had a regular role on Roseanne. <laughs> he played Jackie's yeah. husband. Yes, he's. I guess he's been an actor for a long time. And I've seen him in other stuff. He was in the. He was a pretty good villain in an episode of Leverage. Oh, oh, I haven't seen a leverage at the Hutton show. Oh, I think you'd like it. It's a good procedure. But so yes, yeah. yes, I've oh but he's a he's a good actor. I've seen him in a lot yes. of stuff. Yep. And so he comes in because he's such a I mean, a lot of people like the guest and, and sort of have a joke about how of course the guest star did it in the, uh, in a lot of um detective shows. But um uh, so here you go. So I guess Element is trying to game it a little bit by leaving us multiple um famous faces. So we can't just, you know, hone in right away and solve it faster than Sherlock does in the episode. 
Yes, indeed. So, well, and, and it turns out very importantly that this man that it's it's her father, the victim's father, and she was killed. That he was a strangler, and she was yes. killed in the same way he used to kill his victims. Yes. So uh, that was a really haunting uh, touch to you know uh, uh, to how this murder happened because it's it's something that. Because we didn't know initially that her father was a was a convicted serial killer, and so it the cri- same crime is visited to the the daughter. Mm. Um, it really, it really blew my mind at that time when I was watching it. Well, so they, they even you know, how- they even they even make mention of the fact that now there's so like one she was having an affair, two she was pregnant because of the affair, and now three her father was a serial ki- killer. Yes. So there's so- all these motives, and what I find is really good is that. And Holmes even says that he's remorseful. He regrets his actions. He's afraid of you know, different kinds of punishment. What's going to happen to him? Yep. And they didn't do like the cliche thing of he's not really remorseful. It's just an act. You know, da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah. But because he says, but, you know, I'm prepared to take my punishment. But what happened to my daughter? That was beyond, you know, he thought yeah, which makes he us deserved. Think, which makes us think that was the reason she, like someone killed her to get to him. Yes. So yeah. So that a new element is brought in that maybe a a victim or a um, I'm sorry a family member of a victim uh, of his father's might have committed the, the the killing of the daughter. As we find out, there's also a son too. Yes. Now I don't and, know about you, but I I knew pretty quickly after meeting that it was him. I wasn't surprised. Um, what made you think that? A couple of things. Now it. I will fully say it's, – it's, and I don't mean this at all negative that I figured it yeah. out. Like the show didn't make it obvious or anything. It's just when you when you watch – when you read as much detective fiction, when you was, read it, watch whatever, you notice that some of the tropes yeah. they use or even just stuff guilty people do. Like one number – the number one thing in a lot of shows – I don't know if people do this in real life, but I'm pretty sure they do – is that when someone's guilty, they offer evidence or they offer a second when they say maybe it was someone who did this. Maybe – and this, and he says, oh, there was all these people. Maybe they're the ones who – someone like that killed them. When they offer that freely, they're trying yes. to make – even without even without realizing it, that was the yeah. number one th- thing. And also the fact that Holmes said earlier, I believe it's someone she knew. It's that those two together. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the third thing. Oh, this is a thing that really made me think of the fact that the person was killed in the manner that the father killed, which means it yes. had to be someone that knew who she was in relation yes. to him. Those three things together made me think. Oh, it's probably going to be him. Um, you know what? I didn't think right away could have been him because I thought it might be another misdirection from True, yeah. from the writers. So, so yeah, I, it crossed my mind, uh, especially that, yes, that offering of maybe this, you know, maybe obviously some family is trying to take revenge on us. Uh, but I, and and he was also famous face number two, apparently, because he was in Nikita a lot, which I haven't seen, but that's what I um, uh, people were sharing with me that, oh, he's the guy from Nikita. Of course he's, you know. So we have a second famous face and he does that offering of a te- yeah, potential. Oh, I know where I know him from. He's, where? He's, uh, do you watch Once Upon a Time? Uh, my friends do, but not me. She's, she was, he was, uh, he, it was, he was only a couple episodes, but the character was very felt. He played the evil queens before she was evil. He was her love interest. Ooh, okay. No, I had not known that. So, so that's why, you know, I I think sometimes that I solved it really fast as well, but the tr- show has tricked me before. Elementary has tricked me before, so I try to okay. I'll give it. I'll I'll be a little bit more patient sometimes. But you know what? You're right. I mean, we could have we could have connected the dots quite fast. So so yeah. So that's that's the um, and plus um, there was a nice misdirection that we later on. But you have kids, right? And mm. we find out the reason why he has right. kids. And anyway, we'll get to that part yes. of the story so, a bit so, later. Yeah. See, so they gave information that that they. Knew of, he knew about the pregnancy, but it's, oh, there's so much uh, <laughs> that like going back and watching it is so much underlying there. But so from there we go back to um, Holmes helping Bell, and I I love that scene. <laughs> he you know Holmes even bothered to you know set up this groping mannequin and and Bell has a prices line. Oh, was it dummy groping's not gonna be on the yeah. test? <laughs> so and we learned that um. Bell Bell doesn't even really want to be a sergeant. It's yes. all to do with money to help his mother. And I love yes. that um that's the reason he didn't want Holmes helping because he knew Holmes would figure that out. 
Yes. Yes. Oh my God. That was a, that's a great call. Great call. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I didn't think about it hard enough, but yes, I think that's the reason other than, you know, Sherlock being all, I don't want you to repeat the belt talk reason is you're right. Sherlock would suss out that he, he knows the most, you'll see my motivation for wanting to get another exam. And I don't think Joan would have, you know, looked as much as deeper as, as Sherlock did. So that's a great call. Yes. And also I love when, um, Bell says, pretty much says, you don't know how to let things go, go. And Holmes just pretty much goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think there's an extra glee in, in Johnny Lee Miller in this episode. I mean, I think we got almost got a full smile from him. Oh, not one of not one that. of my strengths. That's how he puts it. I loved how he. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. They they, they are they got such chemistry in the show yes. together. They're yes. like well, like I said, Watson's like his sister, and Bell's like his brother in a lot of ways. <laughs> he's, he's like more like his brother than Mycroft was. Yeah. Oh my God, Mycroft. Jeez. That's another one. We I I really hope and I mean we gotta get some kind of mention with. I mean, because I, I got to think that Moreland, if, if Holmes didn't tell him, Moreland, just on his connections alone, knows that Mycroft is still alive. Yep. So this is a a a, some, a dot that has to be connected down the line for us. So we're expecting it. I just had writers. I just had a really weird thought. If 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 I never thought about this before, if Mycroft, you know, he faked his death, doesn't that mean they had a funeral? Um, I don't know how far along. Um, uh, the NSA would set up, you know, new identity and new undercover. Well, I'm thinking new... they would. Yeah, probably did. So, I mean, I mean, did. and the father did Obviously, the father didn't show up for that. So, <laughs> yes. Well, they never. So, met. Oh, that'd be. Oh, maybe we'll get a mention of it. <laughs> maybe, but you know, I wouldn't put it past um, uh, Moreland to know more than he knows oh, what he the... think he knows. <laughs> Yeah, I, he's oh, just that powerful, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so we we get the footage from the Mia, and they're trying to figure out who the other man is, and they through like watch and think, recognize because the people are taking pictures, like yeah, you know, him. it turns yes. out he's a semi famous real estate guy, yeah, which because he's got like a tagline that kind of thing, yeah. And, and it's funny because I can think of a couple of local people. And, I mean, I don't know, like in your in your country, how common like weird commercials are, but. <laughs> like if you got if you got people who are known for their commercials like businessmen and stuff. Uh, a little bit, yes. There's some of it, but I like the Sherlock's guess of celebrity locksmith. That, it's like <laughs> no. Sounds, sounds like someone he'd have as a an irregular. So. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like someone Sherlock could be a fan of because he likes lock picking so much. <clears throat> so yep. Yeah, so we they find out and go to see this smarmy uh, real estate agent, right? Yes, and I do know this actor. I've seen him in a couple of things. He was just recently on an episode of um, Chicago PD, but I know him from – he's in the show. I, I'm not sure if it's still running, but it was a, it was a decent comedy called yeah. um, The Exes. Oh, so now so now even get Famous Face number three. Well, I think – and you know what? I think they did it – every so often, they, I wouldn't be surprised if they do it intentionally – you know, like they know that people are like, oh, look, it's them. He must be a killer. So they'll intentionally fill the show. Yeah. So yeah, that's why, you know what? I said as much as I'm tempted to make guesses on uh, myself, I just, you know, let, try to let the show happen. Uh, sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's more difficult. But I think that's part of the pleasures of watching. Uh, oh, my God. You know, elementary. They, should, they should. I would love to see in a show like it doesn't have to be elementary, but I want to see some show. Where there's a crime and there's like yeah. 20 butlers that are the suspect and everyone can just keep saying the butler did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I can see elementary trying to have fun with that. Oh, my God. A murderer okay. at a butler's yeah. convention. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That's genius. So genius. I'm sure someone's going to steal it just because I well. <laughs> Okay, uh, this podcast is on the record that <laughs> this. Okay, okay, uh, uh, you know people out. Oh, there, this, uh, yeah, that will know. stand up in court. <laughs> My <laughs> legion of fans will support me. So yeah. they <laughs> they talk to the man. They turn he he um and he admits to the, uh, the, the like he admits to the affair. He says, "Oh, I lied because you know I'm married and." The, and um, he just yeah. Oh, but he does, wait, the he, picture on the on the desk. That's oh, yeah. another funny line. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and, and what does Sherlock say? Uh, um, I can't accept an alibi from someone with that kind of particular hairstyle. I think that's my mother. Yeah. And at that time, I cracked up, but it turns out oh, dead. Like, yeah, she's, yeah, and and that she's dead. Yes. <laughs> but he's he's so, saying he didn't he didn't kill her. 
that and he does again just like the husband he seems surprised about the pregnancy so yeah so that's why again you know wheels are spinning how does this all play out and um they how did they find out again uh, i'm not, i'm not i don't have the episode in front of me but how did they find out again that that she was the victim of the father the oh, serial well, killer well, father it was um they were talking about the case and Holmes he, he just put the picture up on the on the evidence wall and yes. lots of, and he, his brain was going and he i think it's because um the la, the name sounded familiar and so okay. and so he cuz obviously they were looking up the father at the same time so it just probably snapped in his brain they're like oh so he's like wait that name looked familiar he looked up the case like oh look there and he recognized the face from there yeah and that's how it yeah. was and then they they realized Amazing. that he is the son of one of the strangler's victims yes so they they put oh. which of course again the rev, he gets the rev, I mean he has a double well because even though if he didn't know the pregnant he could have killed her for the affair or but now they know he could have killed her for revenge. Yep. So another layer of misdirection or a way of solving the crime. You know, it, it, so we get in the span of like five minutes we get two lines here that I think it's worthy of CSI Miami. It's like he's his attentions were pure, pure yeah, purely homicidal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and then and then later when they go to pick up the guy, um, um, Gregson says it's probably gonna. I can again, I can see him doing the CSI Miami thing. Yeah. Like, it's the last keys he'll ever hold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm like, God, it's like that's... two puns in the span of like ten minutes. And that, but this is great because they, they go there all you know, they're ready to raid the place, arrest yes. the guy, and the one's like. Oh, I'm, I want to be so helpful, and they're like, "Wait, what?" And it's like, oh, "Well, you're here because," and they're like, "Hot," because of the hot, hot, and they're like, "They're like so confused." <laughs> it's great. Their faces are just like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so the the raid into the house is a useful uh, development because Sherlock uh, is is uh, exploring. It picks up some things that lead to the breakthrough of the case. The, the what the and you know the the recording of that of the last woman's final words were that's a well acted piece of uh, vocal acting huh mm, yes I wonder if she got paid extra because they kept using it during the episode <laughs> uh, <laughs> but so, yeah it was pretty haunting and it turns and it, so the man got attacked outside his yes. home he gets he's beaten to near death and he finally s- starts being truthful with them about it. it turns out yet like he did track her down but he he just wanted to confront the father. Yes. And and the affair just so what I, I thought was really uh, they do. I mean, there's a lot of it's like it's the best way I can put this episode. It is it comes close to being confusing, like that close to, to make the hard to follow. But it it's not. Yeah. Like you understand. Uh, like he, yeah. he 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 was um he did track her down to face her father and the affair happened. The affair happened just you know because and it's and i love how realistic that is that they just slept together because just to do it it had nothing to do with anything yes yep so sometimes you know weird connections happen yes so now he says it's obvious i mean we just found out the affair it's obvious who did it and they agree so they go to they go to track down the husband, and it turns out the weapon he used is very distinct, and they were able to track it down. And Marcus gets a few good lines. He's just he's just mocking the hell out of this guy. <laughs> like, you didn't clean. Have you heard of DNA? <laughs> I thought you were going to do the CSI Miami sound. Uh, he didn't really do a pun. <laughs> okay. That's what you see. That's that's the whole thing. CSI thing is like it's a you got to say a bad pun about crime. And then... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yep. So again, the, uh, the, the husband shares a bit more, sheds more light into, um, what happened. Yes. Like he, that, that he wasn't lying about not knowing about the affair. Just when he found out, he's not stupid. So he just figured out who was she spending time with. And that's yeah. where, and he swears again that he did not kill his wife. And then we get this nice yep. little, a nice little scene with Marcus and Watson where she gives him a case to help, yes. to help him practice for the exam. Yes. So mom and dad are giving you homework, son. Essentially, yeah. I like how he says, like, do you trust me? Do you trust me and Sherlock? And he goes, I trust you. It's you. <laughs> and then she says now, and this this line that she gives them is actually, I think it's a loaded line because when you know what happens, she says, this is everything you need. Genial. Yes. So, again, see, that's a kind of genius. I think it's truly genius, right? Because 
um, it's, it shows that, there, you know, with Sherlock's intuition and Sherlock's perception and deduction, he give he finds a way to solve Bell's case, so to speak, um, completely and effectively. And at the same time, is um, educating him to become a better detective. You know, maybe he'll be the next protege of Sherlock hmm. after Watson, Kitty, and now it's going to be Bell. So from there we get we get well this one's a night a middle of the night rude awakening and like a, w- w- he couldn't just wake Watson up and says I solved the case no he had to play the recording very loudly over and over to wake her up oh my god just so he could that's say, another running of the show my yep, gosh. yeah the rude awakenings and just so he could go just go um, I figured out who did it it wasn't the it wasn't the husband or the lover but it was someone she knew. And it turns out, like, like the no, which again, like, is an important plot point because his real yeah. name is Noel. Nolan, Nolan. Oh, yeah. Nolan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, sorry, I said Noel because I, I, I know it's a weird thing, but there was a Christmas picture when before he said, it, I thought he was going to say his real name is N- Noel because of the Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, yeah so it's, it's, they get the. And they, I love the idea that they bought fish just to reference them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So um yeah so we're 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 in the uh, interrogation room and I think I think um the actor uh Mr. Once Upon a Time villain mm-hmm. slash Nikita guy Oh he wasn't a villain once upon a time Oh he wasn't what was he oh, no, sorry no, he, was, I, he was he was her, he, it's actually a good story he he was her love interest before she oh, was Oh love involved. interest yes Yeah love and it, it actually ties into her becoming a villain it's very, it was very well done He's known for a couple other things but that's what I cuz I literally just merit like I never watched the show before so I literally started season 1 and spent like 2 months working my way through <laughs> so I I, I just saw him like a month ago and once so that's what I know from <clears throat> uh, so he, you know, so be, so begins a lot of, you know, the show uses a lot of confessions from the culprit as to way, a way to tie up the story. But I think this one was particularly well, you know, affecting mm. because it's, he kept saying, believable. can you stop playing? Yeah. Can you stop playing the recording? Can you stop playing the recording? Because I don't think, I don't think he's truly capable of uh, such a, you know, horrible crime. But at the same time, you know, I don't want, you know, we made a pact. We made a pact. You know, that it was a really, um, affecting and i felt for him you know i don't think he oh, really yeah. meant to murder his sister but he was so scared of the the legacy that his father brought upon upon both of them well, so well, that's what i put i, I well made done. a note i made a note i put feels guilt but the fear of his father's evil was too much yeah so it was an interesting uh roundabout um did you, i know you i know you guess it was him Based on some. Then I um, guess the reason, no. Yeah, did you guess the motive? Well? Not yes, even. I, 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 I had no idea. But another thing I think is worth mentioning is like you said, a confession. The thing I, I, I mean, it's a big problem, and it, it's another. It reminds me of actually another comedy sketch I could show you. But it, it, it's always I always find it annoying when like the, the person just confesses, you know? It's yes. Like, Here's our advocate yeah, because people never get out of it, that stuff. Like. Yep. Yep. I, but but this is believable because this is his sister's voice. He's got to hear over and over. This her last words yep. begging him not to kill her so i can believe he he would just say something just to make it stop yeah so yes so this is a particularly well done on uh, you know confession uh admission of guilt uh you know development it was i really appreciated the drama of it so i it was that's why it was a fun of um not fun uh but a really effective way of of um of doing this usual cliche kind of direction so well done well and, done and show. sherlock seems like particularly i wonder if this is going to tie in anything but he's like like the, the fact that um the guy like he just says she would beg you she told you no no yes no like he got so passionate about that yep that and he gets when he gets them to confess and it turns out the whole motive was the fact that they agree, and the reason why she had a tubal ligation, and he it turns out he had a vasectomy. That his sons are adopted because yeah. they, and this has been, this is obviously something that's been discussed in real life and in fiction over and over again. Of like, can that is that evil genetic? So they agreed not to reproduce it at the off chance that their father's, you know, darkness would be passed on to children. Yeah, um, that's that's where. I saw, you know, uh, the potential underlying theme of, you know, what 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 fathers can visit upon their kids, right? 
I don't think it was necessarily, um, maybe it was a lucky uh, accident that this kind of running theme happened or it was deliberate knowing the writers is probably deliberate, but yes. So what, what, um, what it can drive you to things that you might not expect to do. Well, I think, so, is, um, and they make, they sure I'll pretty much make mention of this. He's like, you're your father's son. He says, I'm not your father. And sure goes, you're right. He never killed a family member. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, it's like, I know. It's like, ooh. Yeah. That's hunting. That's uh, really, you know, for this show was really funny for the most part, but yes, that was a very, it went to a very uh, sort of deep darkness in a in a quick quick fashion. So again, again, what's one of the ways why this show is really good? It's structured very well, mm. and episodes that we think we we might you're right, we might guess a lot of the uh, solutions. Yeah, but that's us guessing. Early. People like us who watch a million procedural shows. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't like I, we didn't guess. I didn't guess it because it was obvious or anything like that. True, true, true. But still, it's 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 why I give the show so much credit and. Uh, as much as I'm tempted to also second guess some kind of um, uh, mystery solving, I I try to let the show unfold uh, as much as possible. Right. So. Yeah. So that that wraps up the guess. and then we get this the ending, which in my opinion was the makes the whole episode my favorite scene. <laughs> yes. Uh, is when uh, Mark like Mark is like, oh, did you solve a case? Actually, you did. Turns yes. out that case was real, and it was about a bail jumper. And there's reward money for the man's bail, and I love yeah, this. forty grand. Yeah, yeah. I, and I love how like I love how that for one second that Bell was doing that stupid was oh I can't accept this. No, he's helping his mother. He took their money, and also he says, <laughs> "Where's mom's other four thousand? And I yeah. love I love how Holmes is like. Oh well, I know you don't like cha- I know charity. you don't like charity, so I took a binder thing. <laughs> so there you go. It's not charity. <laughs> yeah, and, and then Mark is throws away the book, which is you know he should have donated it to his local library, but um, <laughs> um, he, he obviously has because he didn't want he likes being where he is. He likes being in major cases. So yeah, I, I love I just love how Sherlock helps. Like he helps him in a like you said, he helps him in a way that like he that Marcus would Marcus doesn't even hesitate to take the money for his mother. Yeah, so it was a nice nice going. I mean, I, I like what Bell has a plot line. So and he nailed he nailed his all his scenes in uh in this episode. So that was a fantastic end of the episode. Indeed. So it's uh, all in all. My well, well, before final thoughts, I'm gonna do my favorite lines this week. So okay, mine is um, when he's talking to the real estate guy. You are lying. Do it again. <laughs> yes. And um, then there's it, it's actually from the scene we just men- mentioned. Um, it just made me think of Law and Order the way he wore. It's obviously it's different wearing, but he says the names were changed to protect the guilty. <laughs> 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 yes. And my course, favorite line. Yeah, sorry. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, go one ahead, more. Uh, a, a grown man who keeps a photo of his mother on his desk at work is capable of anything. <laughs> I I I heard that, but I should have remembered that. But that's excellent line. I can only think of one that I can. I, mean, I said a few earlier in our discussion, but I also like Watson's. I don't hear that often enough. Mm, oh yeah, that was a good one. Is, oh, you're right. Oh, I don't hear that often enough. So that was also um, n- totally nailed that line. So, yes, this is an enjoyable uh, episode. You know, the mystery wasn't as deep as last week's, but, you know, there's a lot of still enjoyment to be had. Just the way the characters are, are so uh, developed and we enjoy spending time with them. So um, I'm quite happy with this episode. Yes, indeed. Um for me, it was it, like I said. It was it. It came close. Like well, I don't want to say it almost became confusing because that makes it seem like it almost. Well, it really was like it. It's almost like it. It could very easily have been confusing, but it just yes. wasn't. That's a better yes. way to put it. Like there was all these like there was three. There was motive. There was revenge motive, an affair, the pregnancy, and there yeah. for two different men. And then it turns out it had nothing to do with that. And it, it was connected to her father, but not in the way we thought. Like I guessed it was the brother, but I had I just guessed it was him. Even they said we have no idea what, why you did it. Yes, that's right. So I all so, very, very well connected, and of course, side story with Marcus was fantastic. <laughs> so this and I mean, this was a very well. Uh, I'd watch it again. Very good episode. Hi, Marcus, all around. Yes. So bird and blood. You know, uh, I I look forward to seeing it again. Mm, definitely. So, is there anything else you want to add, Karen? 
Um, no, I think next week we might finally see Moreland again. I hope so. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah, so that that's uh, I'm I'm waiting. I'm I'm waiting for the comeback. So I hope it happens next week because I think that's three episodes in a row we haven't heard from him. So. Mm. Hopefully, I'm sure, and I'm sure knowing Elementary, the last nine episodes of the season will be like oh, yeah. intense, you know, build up like they did with um, Kitty and Mycroft. There'll be like, a, you know, nine episodes in a row where it's all about that main story. So I'm right. excited for that to happen. All right. So every, so that's all for this week, everyone. It's time for us to depart because the game is afoot. <laughs>